Um, for the VO2 max, like measuring the maximal amount of oxygen you're taking in during, I guess, maximal exercise, um, there's, you mentioned to me, um, pe most people are very interested in that and they're not going to get that measured directly. They're not going to a lab like yours or to their, you know, physician doing it. But they want to know, should I do it? Or is there a estimator I can do that's good enough? Or how do I decide if I should or shouldn't? Like what, you know, like, like athletes, probably maybe they should. But, you know, so this cal online calculator, the world fitness level you mentioned, um, maybe you could talk just a, briefly about the science behind that and sure. How so, can so you know, I'm not associated with this at all. But World World Fitness uh, Calculator is it it's a valid calculator for estimating VO2 max. And so, what I mean by that is it's based largely on a lot of research that's been conducted in Norway, in particular Norwegian Technological uh, University. That they've been real pioneers in a lot of interval training research. And so, the bottom line is they have a lot of data on measuring things and seeing how they correlate or are related to or can predict VO2 max. And so, of all of the calculators that are out there, I think this is the one that people could trust the most in terms of answering a few questions about their age, their sex, their typical activity levels, and it will give them a reasonable estimate of their VO2 max. But it's still just an estimate because it's saying you're that typical 40 year old. It's not gonna be able to dial in any better individually, but at least it's gonna give you a marker in the sand, a reasonable marker. And even if it's not precisely accurate, you can rest assured that it's gonna allow you to track changes over time. So you plug your answers into the online calculator, it spits out a value and says your VO2 max is 38 or 45. And then you engage in some sort of training program for three or six months, and then you do it again. And the, if you see a directional change up or down, hopefully up, you can be reasonably confident that you know your training program has been effective at, at increasing your VO2 max, even if the precise number is not 100% accurate. Yeah, that makes sense.